girlies welcome back to the channel so your girl's coming through with a salt and pepper wig okay it's definitely giving grandmother but we're going to slay it so we're not going to play around so let's get into it i'm excited about this this unit is from v show it does come with four combs and an elastic band in the back so your wig is fitting snug and not going anywhere on you i also felt the need to bleach the knots so that's why the knots are looking very much so bleached up there and those are the things that i like to do to ensure i'm giving the girl's natural hairline vibes okay and another thing that you can do to implement natural hairline is giving yourself a little foundation bath okay you just want to go ahead and put that foundation powder that you like to use on your face around that lace so it can lay and melt really good all right, so as you can see, I popped the wig on and I'm just going to do these quick incisions in the lace so I can adjust it and move it around as much as I need to. And as you can see, this lace isn't giving, you know, super light brown or medium brown lace. So I do have to go in and add a little bit more foundation powder. So like I said, I will list all that information in the description box below. But yeah, so as you can see, I'm just adjusting it, moving it around just to ensure that my hairline is you know where, where I want it to be and I'm just going to use that alcohol just to remove all that extra makeup around the perimeter of my hairline because as you can see your girl has a full face on today when I decided to install this unit So I'm going in with my gossipy glue and just working in sections. And then before I go and lay this lace down, I am going to cut around my ear tabs. That band is your friend, okay? Don't let anybody tell you any different. And I like a real deal band. I don't really like those silk ones. You are gonna see some videos of me using some silk ones because I lost this one that I used in this video. I'm going to go ahead and trim the ends and just go ahead and press this hair out. So I'm gonna let you guys vibe and watch this. I used a pretty high heat on this hair, so I'm not gonna tell you that you're not supposed to use really high heat on this hair. Just use a heating protecting serum and glide that flat iron through your hair versus just sitting it on just a specific area for too long so vibe out for this portion and then i'll come back and share with you guys what i do towards the end All right, girls, so we got the hair pretty much all pressed out. I'm gonna be repressing it a few more times before I close out this video, but I'm gonna remove this band and I'm going to go ahead and cut the remaining of this lace off with an eyebrow razor. Make sure you take your time with this. Make sure you have a close mirror while you're doing this and don't have a fresh, fresh, fresh razor when you're doing this, okay? Kind of make sure it's like in between. Oh, 
So if you want baby hairs, go ahead and get your baby hair sections out. I just like to do two sections with my head shape because I just feel like three would just be too crazy on each side. But if you want a little swoop at the top, of course you could do that as well. So I'm just focusing on the one above my eyebrow as well as the one by my ear. And then I'm just going to take as much hair as I like to have in my baby hairs. This is personal preference. Don't let anybody tell you any different. And of course, I'm gonna go ahead and curl them under just so it can look a little bit more realistic after doing the lay with them and I'm gonna take the other end of my eyebrow razor just to press this lace down a little bit more with my got to be glue hairspray and this helps remove that ash so look at this hair quality I just had to come on and just you know pat it around a little bit for y'all so y'all can see how amazing it looks and now it's time to lay the baby hairs now that we got that all out the way so I'm going to just use a little bit of my what did I use I think I used got to be glue hairspray and my honey ginger camille rose styling gel and i like to use those two just for the hold as well as the um like you know quality of that gel i just feel like it's not too hard and i like to comb these out after they lay for a little bit and you know repressing just to make sure everything looks nice and retouching up my baby hair and then I'm taking a little bit of rubber and alcohol just to clean up any extra hairspray that's all over the place. I was dying laughing around this time, so y'all are about to start seeing me just have the damn giggle bug. But I'm gonna go ahead and close up this part a little bit with this root touch-up situation. They have multiple colors, and I believe it's from Clear All, so I will link that in the description box below. But here I go, dying laughing. Just just, I don't know what was so funny. Like, what was so funny, hun? But um, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and touch up my hairline with a little bit of my foundation powder. That same area that I removed that foundation powder, we got to reapply that foundation powder, girl. Touch up my lips and just, you know, fall in love with this hair because I was really feeling it. I just thought it was a really easy lay. Um, I thought the quality was amazing. Like I said, I didn't like get too afraid about how high I was having my flat iron. I just went in with probably like it on level 40 girl and I was pressing that thing out and just look how fabulous this looks. I'm here for it. Okay. Let me know how you guys feel about it. I would love to know your thoughts, but I feel like V show came through with this unit. Just wanted to work with the company that I felt like the quality was amazing. So 10 out of 10 for me. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, subscribe and turn on your post notification bell so you're notified when I upload another video. I love you guys. Bye all.